The rubber industry is one of the important basic industries of national economy. It provides not only necessary light industry rubber products for daily and medical uses, but also various rubber manufacturing equipment or rubber parts for heavy industries and emerging industries such as excavation, transport, construction, machinery and electronics. However, the use of rubber also produces a lot of waste rubber since rubber is prone to aging and difficult to degrade. Most waste rubber is waste tires. The second most source of waste rubber is waste rubber products, such as waste rubber shoes and waste rubber tubing, as well as leftover bits and pieces, and waste produced during rubber production. A lot of waste rubber not only occupies land, pollutes the environment, and harms people's life, but also is extremely easy to spark a fire to cause huge waste of resources. Therefore, considering economic development or environmental protection, the recycling of waste rubber must be carried out. The Great Era calls for a great spirit. The Great Spirit creates a great cause. Our disadvantage in natural rubber resources may promote us to strengthen the constant research and development of and make outstanding progress in the utilization technologies of rubber powder. Under the high attention and great support of the government, a group of enterprises specializing in the recycling of waste rubber spring up like mushrooms after rain. Among them, the factory covers an area of more than 2,000 square meters and has a beautiful environment, a complete set of equipment, strong scientific research strength and advanced production technology. It is one of the first domestic enterprises specializing in the development, production, sales and services of rubber equipment. Over the years, the company actively responded to the government's call for promoting energy conservation and consumption reduction and developing recycling economy, took boosting the development of China's rubber industry and driving China's economic takeoff as its responsibility devoted itself to the recycling of waste rubber as well as the research and development and popularization of rubber equipment. Adhere to the corporate spirit of keeping improving and always striving for excellence, constantly promoted the technical improvement and innovation and the product upgrades and improvement and improved the comprehensive technical level and product competitiveness of the enterprise in an all-round way. Through more than 20 years of persistent exploration and brave struggle, now can provide complete sets of rubber powder equipment with more than 10 different models and part equipment such as waste tire disassembling equipment, grinding units and rubber powder screening and magnetic separation units. With leading product technologies and good product quality, the products sell well in more than 20 provinces and municipalities and some products are exported to multiple countries and regions. The company has formed a good market pattern, both at home and abroad. It seems that it is all... Most waste rubber is waste tires. However, tires are made of different rubber materials, so it is difficult to separate the parts with different rubber formulas. And considering economic benefits, it is also not practicable. Therefore, the treatment of obtaining rubber powder through grinding and screening after fibers and metal compositions are removed now is the most applicable method. Rubber powder can be widely used in fields such as plastic cement sports grounds, playgrounds, rubber bricks, waterproof coiled materials, waterproof coating, modified asphalt for roads, rubber products, and modified starch. A complete set of traditional rubber powder equipment generally includes three main parts, which are the tire disassembling equipment, the grinding unit, the main machine, and the rubber powder screening and magnetic separation unit. The rubber powder production technique is roughly as follows. Firstly, use the tire disassembling equipment to cut tires into rubber rings, strips, and pieces. Secondly, use the grinding unit to grind rubber pieces into powder. And finally, use the rubber powder screening and magnetic separation unit to separate steel wire from rubber powder and particles and send the substandard rubber powder back to the grinder for second grinding. However, since a rubber grinding unit of the traditional rubber power production line generally adopts the bearing brush type or nylon sleeve type sliding operation mode, which with larger frictional resistance 
not only has high energy consumption and lower efficiency, but also is extremely prone to the phenomena of loose bearings, broken bearings, and broken sleeves. So they have to be replaced irregularly, which influence the working efficiency and increase production cost. Through years of research and repeated experiments, the company has successfully developed the first nationally patented double row long rolling bearing new type rubber grinding equipment. Compared to the traditional rubber grinders, this operation mode has not only lowered the frictional force and heat productivity, improved the working efficiency of equipment and extended the service life of equipment, but also reduced energy consumption. The electric consumption is about one-third of that of traditional rubber equipment. The electric expense saved every year is equivalent to the price of a set of new equipment. On the other hand, the front rollers of traditional rubber grinders are arc groove rollers and their back rollers are sawtooth groove rollers. New rubber grinders adopt the sawtooth groove roller design and the saw teeth of both rollers interlace with each other horizontally and obliquely, which have improved the grinding capacity of equipment significantly to make the rubber powder finer. At the same time, also has improved and made innovations of the tire disassembling equipment unit so as to further improve the rubber powder production line and realize energy conservation and consumption reduction. The tires without steel wire are transported to the cutting machine by conveyor belt to cut tires into pieces. Can directly cut the whole tire into rubber pieces without pretreatment, like cutting tires into rubber rings and strips. Then the rubber pieces can be put into rubber grinders for grinding. Can grind rubber pieces into rubber particles and powder of different sizes as required. Then the rubber particles and powder are transported to two screening beds in sequence through the belt conveyor for fine materials, which are transported to rubber powder separation and magnetic separation machines to separate impurities like steel wire and steel substances to get purer rubber powder. The substandard rubber powder is sent back to the grinders for second grinding by rubber piece conveyor. The recycling processing technology is advanced doesn't need any chemical materials and doesn't produce waste gas and water. 99.9% .9 of steel wire is separated out through magnetic separation and with a low operation cost it is the best choice for the production of rubber powder through waste tires in China. Today the whole world is suffering from the increasing shortage of energy resources. Therefore the one who can actually realize energy conservation and consumption reduction will play a leading role. It will lead China's rubber industry to step into a brand new era.